Howdy there, marketers. I'm Kieran from Clear Imaging, and this is Marketing Bytes. In this video series, we give you marketing info without any of the fluff, stuff you can actually use. Today, we're going to be talking about marketing in a tough economy. So I have five points here, and I'm just going to go through them. So point number one, you have to keep promoting while your competitors are slacking. So while others are contracting, you need to expand. This is an incredible opportunity for you to expand your business. While others are on pause, you need to stay on, and then you're gonna have the opportunity to service all your competitors' customers and win them over. So expanding on that is, Google and Facebook ads right now are very cheap because less people are running them. In some areas, 50% cheaper. Here is a really great article, and I'm gonna put a link to this article in the description of the video socialmediatoday.com and it's talking about how just ad costs have been slashed on Google and Facebook. All right, so you need to get very specific with your ads, do some geo-targeting, in other words, target only areas that are in your precise service area. So if you're a contractor and you only service an area within a few zip codes, have your ads only show in those areas. Other forms of promotion aside from ads would be doing direct mail. People still open their mail, of course and then email blasts. So think with those, ads, email blasts, direct mail. Next, let's go to an example of a website. This is a landscaping company. You should be getting creative with your website special offers, coupons, discounts, etc. So depending on who your audience is, you need to adjust with the current situation. So if you're a restaurant, you need to be moving into delivery. If you're a personal trainer or a hairstylist, you need to be moving into doing house visits. If you're a landscaper or a contractor, Depending on your clientele, you might need to shift away from doing uh, patio paving and driveway paving to doing sustainable living, solar installs, garden, water purification, etc. Right? And then you want to feature that on the home page because some people don't know if you're open or if you're closed or what services you are offering. So put the, uh, the service that you're offering right now really clear on the home page. Put a little deal with it as well. Throw in something free and people are going to love that. All right, point number three, you want to promote this on Facebook. So whatever your services are, if you've had to pivot because of COVID-19, you need to let the world know and you need to promote. So Facebook made a really nice guide here. Again, I'm going to put this link in the description. But this is a really simple video on Facebook about how to make your Facebook ad. It's got a transcript. It's like a little video and all the steps right here. Um, so you have the choice. You can do a post on Facebook or you can do ads. Honestly, posting is only going to get so much visibility. I strongly recommend that you do ads. And like I said earlier, this, the prices are slashed. So go ahead, watch this video, see how simple it is. And I'm, I'm serious with $10 a day, you could, you could get some return on investment. I would recommend spending more, but you could start with that. Uh, to not do it would just be a waste at this time. Now another thing you should be doing, number four, is promoting your special offers on MailChimp, on email to your past customers. So MailChimp is really simple. You sign up for an account, you upload a spreadsheet of your past customers, you make your little email, you hit send. There's a few more steps than that, but honestly it's extremely simple, it's free, and this is a gold mine for, of potential business. If you don't have a spreadsheet right now of your past customers, then what you need to do is start digging, dig deep, get into your, your bookkeeping programs, your files, your records, email list, Gmail, make a list of those past customers because they are gold. Then you can reach out to them, offer them your service, tell them you're still in business, and it's always easier to sell past customers than new ones because they already know you. It's just much simpler. Another thing you should be doing right now is really doubling down on content creation. So using this downtime to create photo, blog articles, video, it's a great time to create some quality content. And remember, Google doesn't put sites at the top of search that are bare bones in regards to content. So if you want to outdo your competition, you need to be making dozens of articles or video. And you could be doing short little video clips. They could be two minutes, they could be FAQs. You can do a little video for every FAQ. 
frequently asked questions, difficulties, confusions, problems your prospects have, uh, do it yourself. These could be great uh, content for video and you can shoot the video and then transcribe it, type it all up and make that into an article. So you can repurpose that video content that you make and then make it into text. So that's a two for one. I've got a nice little infographic here and I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can download this, but this is a little strategy that we've got uh, over here on, at Clear Imaging for making content on your website that you can use. Okay, and I'm gonna put a link to that so you can save it to your computer and read all of it. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you found that to be helpful. If you need anything uh, at all with your website, any help, this is us, we're Clear Imaging. We've been helping small business owners uh, manage their websites since 2004. We're super dependable, always answer emails, and we get the job done. That's why we've been around for so long. So come on over, come to the contact page, and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Until then, take care and stay safe.